Alright, I'm gonna make a tutorial for Rasengan and After Effects. So, uh, first thing you need here is gonna be a video of your hand. Right here. But, uh, let's make a new composition first called The Hand, appropriately named. Uh, so make sure it's on web video so you can post it up on YouTube. Then, uh, just drag and drop this into the composition window. At first it looks really huge, but then once you zoom out and scale it, it should be a lot better, because it'll look more pretty, and who doesn't want that? Scale it exactly there. Alright, so you've got your footage of your hand. That's really all you need right now, because all the effects we're going to use are already included, hopefully. Uh, you've got your hand footage, so you're going to need to actually make the Rasengan itself. So you're going to make another composition, uh, maybe call it the combo which actually has the whole Rasengan thing not including the hand. Or you can call it Rasengan for short, but that's, that's kind of boring. So uh, what you'll need first is a blank layer, solid same size, comp size, black, well that's what I want. Then you gotta make a second one, but first you gotta rename this, just press enter, background, so then it'll help you actually see the sync on itself. Then you're gonna make a second layer where you're actually gonna put the effects, so the particles, you're gonna need particles in this. Over here, you're going to search particle playground. Let me just do this for you. Particle. You just drag and drop into the layer. Make sure it's highlighted, the particles, because it's not going to be as cool. Then, uh, you'll see here how, like, the particles just spew out like a volcano, and we don't want that. We want a Rasengan. So what we're going to do here is, uh, make a new mask. Uh, I forgot how to do that. Mask, new mask. Oh shoot, never mind. Control Z. I remember. Uh, you're gonna have to change this to ellipsy, then just drag a circle around here. Just gonna drag a circle to make a mask. So make sure it's a layer of the particles. Then you're gonna go here, expand. Uh, what do you call that? Wall. Then boundary mask one. So then look when you actually shoot your particles they'll bounce along the wall over there and that's what we want then expand cannon you'll want to make the particle radius kinda small cause if they're really big you're gonna lag like crazy and lag sucks so you're just gonna go uh, like that and you see how it's all up and downwards you don't want that First, you might as well change the color to make it look more Rasengan like. Uh, how about a light blue, dark blue, anything like that? Then, the velocity random, just play around with all these settings over here. Then, you should be able to get something you like really fast. Uh, oh, this one's good, direction random. It's pretty cool. Although, every time you go here, the particles increase, so you're going to make you lag. So, like, once in a while, you might want to change the particles per second to zero. First, clicking the stopwatch. See how it gets bigger? You want to stop that. So you want to change it to something small, like five again. So then here, it'll eventually decrease. There. Once you've got the that down, you'd want to blur it to make it actually look like a Rasengan. So you go find CC Radial Blur. That's the one that makes it look really cool. Then we can close this for now. The type, that doesn't matter. We're going to put the center up here. Then play with these settings for a bit. And if you change the amount, it'll start looking more of a Rasengan like that to make it actually look spinning or we can move it lower 
but then that looks stupid. So what I do now, I put them diagonally because that's pretty cool looking. Then uh, after that, you want to make another solid layer. So new, solid, then you call it the tangibility. What this is going to do is going to make your Rasengan look more, look like it can be touched, look like more tangible. So what you're going to do here, hold on, I made a mistake. You're going to want to delete this. My bad. Uh, layer, new, solid. You're going to want to make this bluish, pretty bluish. I can't decide on a color at the moment. It's kind of late. Like that put it under there then you're gonna wanna cut it into a little circle like here and move it to the spot of your Rasengan but that looks gay so you're gonna wanna change the opacity tone it down a bit and size it up if you want to so it's looking more like an actual Rasengan, but it still looks gay. So we're going to want to change the mask feather. That always helps. Uh, just play around with it till it looks pretty good to you. I mean, I like it right now. It's okay. So that's our Rasengan at the moment, but to make it, even, to make it look even better, we're going to make a new solid. Uh, same color, preferably brighter, to make it look like there's a spinning ball in the middle. And we're going to make another mask here. You might need the trap code shine effect, but you can get a free trial at that or buy it, which is hella expensive. But since I have it, I might as well use it. But this is totally optional. Uh, you're gonna have to go change the colorization because I mean you gotta admit it sucks so mm. you might as well change these to blue and stuff to match the whole theme of Rasenganiness or whatever uh, let's try to make it dark I actually like that that looks pretty good but uh no, I'm just kidding, that sucks. But to make it look better, we can actually lower the opacity and possibly the mask feather. That's That always helps. Okay, now we can't see it anymore. Let's go change that opacity. Alright, I'm good. Then, if you want to make it even better, you just make a new layer solid. Or in fact, it will be easier if you just duplicate it. Just control D. Then uh, you can always duplicate it and change the CC radial blur. Change the center of it over here. So it actually looks more Rasengani. Okay, that's gay. Uh, let's forget I ever did that. Uh, what would look great? How about that? Maybe we could lower the quality a bit. Okay, that looks pretty good. I mean, it'll take hella long to render, but it's worth it. Okay, see, this looks pretty gay at the beginning, because it doesn't appear out of nowhere. <laughs> 